what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's early in the morning and I decided that I want to there are a few things that needed to be put back together in this car like under the dashboard the pocket inside the engine bay a few things need to be sorted out there and um, guys I decided to make this car a lot more exciting I called Roland and I um, asked him a few questions saw some videos and I decided to make this car a lot more interesting guys maybe maybe it's gonna be the most interesting car in in my fleet yeah because um, I'm thinking I want you guys to post in the comment um, how much horsepower do you think I need to run 10 seconds with this car and be streetable every day and to get to that that time guys we're gonna do we're gonna work some magic on this car we're gonna work some magic we're gonna make it as modern while being old as possible yeah man so first thing I read my, my my steering box guys has a lot of play in it you know steer like we can move the steering like this even before the state the wheels move so I was thinking to maybe modify a rack opinion on it to make it you know drive a lot better make it more modern you know get rid of the old steering box because um, you know I'm sure that's one of the one of the issues with these older cars steering box and having too much play so we're gonna address that also in the last video you notice Roland was saying that the the coolant system need to be changed need to be um, flush so I'm thinking to do that because I would love to go over there to get it done but I have a lot to do um, here in Kingston and as you guys know it's carnival season so you know say so we we'll have to do two partying so I'm gonna see if I can get the cooling coolant system flush get up back inside of the car as well and I'm gonna call Roland to let him tell me about that um, RPIC thing to clean the, the cooling system I know other ways to do it but that's kind of unique and new to me so I'm gonna call him to find out how that works I have to pull back this to get this under here. Uh, let me see if we can force it under there. Yeah. I think I kind of break it. I don't want it to break. Hey guys, just getting some brand new screw and rusty one here. That should have rusty one here. That's back in. Time to put on the rubber. All this right now. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Feel like. And. Then bend you now. Then bend you again. That's all. Then I look like it also. Yeah. See if I can fit up the interior a little bit. Yeah, this pocket hard to go in. I wonder what kind of clips it uses. Mm -hmm. uh, 
one clip in. Alright, so I'll get the rest of them in now. Lock up the pocket, then I'll go underneath the dashboard. Done. Alright guys, so I did the other side. This part seems like it leave over by Roland, so I'm gonna call him and have him um, the same for me. This piece on the other hand, I remember they used a two side tape right here because it broke off. I'm just, I'm just gonna order back one of these because them easy, them easy, them cheap online and these they can't get these. Everything else kind of shaky, like you can get buttons and like some switches and all that stuff, but like panels and body parts it's hard to find them brand new this goes right here but it needs some two side tape and i need to find my ac my ac vent button button in there. there is the coolant definitely brown jeez i don't know how that gets a brown yo yeah. All right. So the um. Can I see you? Can I see me now? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Oh, what is it? They 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 they, they flush the. Yeah, if we flush the coolant thing now, um, where where this Arpic thing? Where you use it? Arpic, Arpic. Use Arpic. So no, so what, what you do? You 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 float, you you drain the, the system right, so first. Wait, 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 wait. Drain the system, then you throw in the apex, pull it up and throw the apex, and yeah, then yeah. run it. Yeah, man, flush the system. Just drain what's in there, now, man. Yeah. Everything that's in there. Yeah. Everything. And um, what you're going to do is that um, you're going to pull it up with the water. Yeah. Right. And then we pull it up with the apex, right? Yeah. Alright, good. Remember the RP has an acid acid in it, you know. Yeah. That that uh, can see rust or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is have it just circulate in the system. Um you're going to just start it make, and make it circulate, circulate, circulate. Make it idle about ten minutes. Eh? Make it idle for about ten minutes. Yeah, but what you do know is um just make it go and circulate and circulate by itself, alright? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then okay. afterwards no. What you do now is pull the bottom radiator the hose now mm -hmm. and just use your use your regular hose your, your regular hose we use our water again. And just and just and, and just run it radiator, through it. Just, yeah, but leave the bottom radiator hose open. Yeah. Yeah man. Alright? Yeah man. And then when all once all of the rust come out, you're gonna see no more rust. Mm -hmm. Lock your system them time you now and put in oil based coolant. All right, so me don't need, me don't need, me don't need, 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 all right, so when me I make it, me need to take out the thermostat? Yeah, man, take out the thermostat, man. All right. All right, so we want to run a smooth, we want to make sure so we get out all debris, because the debris, we're going to clog up the thermostat afterwards, the rust. All right. So, to protect the thermostat, you want to take it out, take out the rust, anything like that, all right. you can. All right, me have some apple, right. me have to go teeth out the apple, can you know, the house. <laughs> That's <laughs> tea for the Africa, alright. So tea for the Africa and just flush it and make it go and hide with it and get, you know? Yeah, man. Alright, all right, right, respect. Cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> alright, all right, guys, we need to take off this. I oh, need a flat pan. Hold on, so self one more time. All the rusty flat plant right there. Uh oh, can't wreck a seal. Alright, so I'm gonna drain out all of this coolant. Man, I can't believe the coolants are brown. Coolant are browning. Run free water. Run free. Go ahead, I don't need you. Go ahead, I don't need you. Water brown. Got a little cut guys, I don't even know when when I, when that happened. It's supposed to go somewhere. 
Oh, weird. No thermostat, no, no, this. <laughs> the thermostat, no, no, it. Oh. But I bought a Mishimoto thermostat for, um, for the Supra, and I thought it was this. When I had the Supra. I thought it was this I put it in, but it wasn't all right. Mm. Lock this up back. Lock this up back. Well, one less thing to open up. All right. No thermostat. as well Phillips I'm sure the Phillips man they told them now man coolant now this still red door what go on why the coolant in this not brown it, it not circulate it not wait me not understand you see there coolant red in this but come on, you know what I'm going to do? This little bracket that I built right here. This, I'm going to paint this black. Use a rust spray and paint that. So I didn't find the rusting, but I found some undercoating that I bought for the Chevy. I'm going to have a spray gun for this, you know, but no, God, I don't need it. The whole undercoating thick down. Yeah. That's way more than enough. Man, guys, not with all is this thing. It will kill germs and it's fresh. And I guess it's going to kill clean rust. Clean and cure system. Entirely cleaner. Nothing but RP. I put little water in it already. No. Pour in the RP. I put all that in it. Put a little bit in this as well. All right, pick, all right, pick. Man, I wonder if I should put all light in it. But it now goes sod. No, not sure. Well, guys, remind me to buy back one of these when I go to the supermarket. But the tile them still have to clean. Want the water? I run the alternator. <laughs> oh Jesus! I'm gonna be a lot more careful now. Let child not to let the water run in the alternator. Okay, careful now. Yeah. Yeah, man, Mrs. Sod. <laughs> Mrs. Sod. I wonder if I should, um. I probably should have used a funnel.
temperature sitting nicely at like 160, between 160 170. Alright guys, so we're gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Let it cool down for a little bit and then drain it and do all of that. But guys, I'm giving myself until I would say when is the when is the meet before December? November, November, November. I'm giving myself until November, guys, to get this car running tens. Not gonna turn it into a race car. It's gonna run running tens, even 10.99. Imagine just driving off the road, driving to the track and run 10.9. 10.99.999 guys if i run 11 flat it's still 10 still count as 10 all right yeah just just imagine say i would get a little extra breeze if it, if it was windy <laughs> but yeah guys um i'm gonna spend some time on this car and get it running properly i know you guys want to see the nsx and the gtr those are coming soon those those aren't well the nsx is a lot of work but it, the gta is not a lot of work it's just um the, actually have the camo the cam over there just need to get to ziggy get there get get it to ziggy and then him can put in the cam start the car we tune it and that's it the nsx <coughs> we all know it needs an engine the chevelle is in the process of being finished I have some parts coming for it but this guy this car guys i think i can get this car to be running like a like an amg because it was the amg for mercedes back in the days yeah until amg took over so this is the, pretty much the first amg car you can say right i could be wrong could be very very wrong i don't know which year the armor make I'm a, no, the I'm a 90 something. I don't remember. But you can consider it's the first tune kind of modified AMG um, car from Mercedes from the deep from the factory. I don't know. I don't know. Just a talk. Whatever. Alright guys, it's been long enough. I need to drain by the water. And then put in some fresh coolant. Uh, trying not to cut my hand again. Not wearing any gloves, but I need to put on my gloves because I need to protect my ring. What a burn! I uh, put the hose in the, the lower radiator. I'm going to make it flush this way and then I'll probably try and flush through the... the I'll do my best, did my best to cover up the alternator. Let's see if I can block up this enough to make it with the water flow. Man. It's no water coming to the water come now. How oh, about it? I run to the terminal start. Alright, yeah. But I see something. Daddy. 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 Yes, that's I have a party. Brown water. Yes! And there is a water, I don't want another all of the water that gets on the alternator. Man, time to fill up. Got some coolant. From 50-50. I see I found the, the funnel. Alright, all of the wasm. Alright, that tightened. Fill up with some red 50-50 I 
What's up, man? I start the car. You gonna run? You gonna run? Go hide? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna start the, I'm gonna start the car. I'm gonna start the car. You run the hide? What's up? Where you running, man? Where are you running? You scared? Yeah, this guy go on. Go on, clean up. Okay, so the car idling nicely, system clean. Got most of the interior um, panels inside the car. So, we don't, I mean, nobody messes with the camera in the box. Fun come on, guys. Everything seems to be going very, very smoothly. So, I'm happy with that. System is good. The Arabic, Arabic, yo, the car smells sweet. Inside the radiator smell nice, smell like Arctic. <laughs> hey guys, it's good now. And guys, remember to leave in Amik. Guys, remember to leave in the comment what you guys think I'm going to do to, do to this car. I have a, a guys, I have some serious, serious plans, guys, and it has something to do with the transmission. It has something to do with the transmission. No, not putting that money all in it. But let's see how many of you guys can guess. And Roland, don't say anything, you know, because you know. Remember that it's, a, it's me and your secret. You know. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like the videos, guys. Like and subscribe and help the channel to grow. See you guys in the next one. This was a sweaty one and a very. I'm gonna say, wait, no. Nah,